This recording will demonstrate how to create and edit a PNR and view results with Travelport SmartPoint. Just as with native Galileo, to complete a PNR, you will need to have at least the required mandatory entries. These are at least one telephone field, which should always be your agency number, the received field, an itinerary, at least one passenger name, and a ticketing field. We're going to begin by creating an itinerary. Let's do an availability search. With SmartPoint, we have the ability to search for an outbound and a return segment using a single entry. What follows the plus plus will determine the return segment. For the same routing in reverse, there is no need to specify the return city pairs, just the return date. To sell seats, click once on the desired class from each partition. The sold segments will appear on the left in the PNR viewer window. To add customer details into the booking file, you can use either cryptic entries, which are also referred to as terminal commands, or the fill-in box for customer details. The fill-in boxes can be accessed via the PNR option from the SmartPoint toolbar. Click on the PNR option and select Create Edit Customer Information. To add passenger names, click on the Add button. The greyed out boxes for entering passenger details, last name, first name and title, as well as name field remarks, will now turn white. Names can now be typed in. As you type, you will see the details appearing in the passenger data box. To add phone details, click on the Contact tab. To activate the fill-in boxes, again, you need to click on Add. You can now select the city code from the drop-down or simply type in the three-letter city code where the phone is located. In this example, we will use London. You will see the option appears at the bottom of the list. We just need to hit Enter to populate this information. Next, we select the phone type from the drop-down. By clicking the down arrow and using the keyboard up or down arrow keys to highlight the required phone type, for example, agency, mobile, etc. You can also begin typing in the desired phone type. We can now use the tab key to move down to enter the phone number or click in the phone number box and type in the number. Email addresses can also be added in this section. Click on Add again to activate the email fill-in boxes. Next, select from the drop-down either from email or to email. From would be yours or the company address email, to would be the passenger address. Next, add the email address. A comment can also be appended to the email address. To add the next mandatory entry, click on the ticketing tab. The minimum ticketing entry would be the passenger already ticketed option. To add a future ticketing date for the booking file to appear on Q10, select the Arrange Ticketing Date option. Then select a date for the file to appear on Q. The date can be typed in or you can click on the calendar icon and choose a date from there. Ticketing remarks are an optional field that can be added along with a branch office pseudo city code. The TAW option or arrange follow-up date allows for an in-house account code to be assigned to a booking file for subsequent manual move to a queue. A specific pseudo city code and free text can also be entered. There is also a time limit option which can be used when tickets will be issued at an airport. There is a drop down to select the airport city code and issuing vendor. The time and date can either be manually typed in or chosen from the date calendar or the time icon. In this example, we'll choose the minimum ticketing field, passenger already ticketed. When all mandatory fields have been completed in the fill-in, you can now click on the Save option. You can now see that the details have been added to the itinerary. If you wish to view each field separately, you can click on the Display buttons underneath the itinerary. 
Star All displays all fields in the booking file. Star P displays the phone field. Star TD displays the ticketing field. Star EM the email field. Star RV would display the received field. And star PI would display any passenger information once this has been added. To complete the booking file, the final field to be entered is the received field. This will need to be done using the manual input R dot. If customer information within the booking file needs to be edited, we can use the fill in boxes again. Click on P&R and select Create Edit Customer Information. Before ending the booking, we can change names. Name changes can also be done after the booking has been ended, but you will need to check the name change rules of the relevant airlines. To change the name, simply type over the existing information within the booking. This would be amended within the booking once we click on Save. We can also amend the contact details. We could enter another phone number. To do this, click on Add and enter the new phone details. In this example, we'll add the customer's business phone number. We would then click on Save. This can also be done using the pencil icon at the bottom of the PR Viewer window, which will give you the same options as those in the PR tab. Create Edit Customer Information, Create Edit Booking File Remarks, Create Edit Special Services, and Assign or Edit Seat Assignments. You may use the PR tab or the pencil icon, whichever you prefer. Once all mandatory fields have been added to the booking, it can be saved by entering either E to End or ER to End and Retrieve.